welcome to What We Watched with Scott and Toby. We're going to be talking Midnight Mass, Episode 6, Acts of the Apostles. It's going to be pretty spoiler heavy, but if I care with you, continue on, and I'll see you on the other side. I'm good. Thank uh-huh. you. Yes, not too shabby. It's weekend, so I'm kind of relaxing, done a few bits for the, the mug company. Watching um, the footy. The footy. Watching the footy in a while, while. Let's not talk about the footy. It's not going too well at the moment. Oh, no. Toby loves football. I don't, I don't follow any yeah. football. So. No, <laughs> I turned it off at half time. I was just like, yeah. Oh, no. This is just too painful. I'm not going to watch any more of this. Oh, yeah. Crikey. But yeah, yes, other than that, fair. all good. Drinking a gin and some, uh, there's like a, I've got this can from work called a CBD infused fruit juice can. It's offered like two Japanese students that were working there. It's very nice. Oh, nice. So I mixed it with some gin. <laughs> How it was intended. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's quite good. Nice. Turmeric in it. We've, we've hit our first snow here. Yes, it's so have we. It hasn't quite settled. It's just sort of slushed down and mixed in with the rain. Yes, we've we've had snow too. Nice. Are you a fan? No, no. Are, you a, are you a winter fan? A snow fan? I am. I'm a, I am a fan of the snow. Yes. Mm. I always like it when it's, what was interesting is I woke up with. Well, it's not interesting. Just in a sort of oh, that's just strange. I woke up. Article on my thing that says what's the likelihood of it snowing in Birmingham today or mm. last night. And it was like, blah, 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 loads of text, loads of faff. Finally, right at the end, it's not going to snow in Birmingham. I was like, oh, that's a shame. Got up, <laughs> went to the kitchen, looked out the window, white everywhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, there you go. You are Someone wrong. Someone needs to refresh, hit that refresh yeah. button on the phone. But I guess it's exactly. more fun in the UK because it's not guaranteed, right? Like it's, it's, it's a get, rare occurrence. You can get a yeah. good couple of years with zero snow mm-hmm. uh, here in Canada. Although with global warming, that seems to have changed up a bit. Yeah, you're getting the, the flip side of it, as it were. Mm-hmm. Why is it called White Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> it never snows at Christmas, and now it's snowing at Christmas, and everybody's going mad about it. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try and reduce my sniffles. I, I sort of went for a bit of a walk, and the oh, sort of okay. snow turned to rain, and I was semi, yes. semi-dressed, semi but mm-hmm. I sort of came back super sneezy. It's hard uh, when it hits this cold, like mm. my glasses steam up the moment i enter a store it's it's that sort of better on or off better blurry vision right. but clear blurry vision or clear vision but water blurred steamed. vision and steamed yeah and just sniffly because of the cold and sneezy mm-hmm. but wearing a mask and now in covid times it's like i'm sort of i need to get my sneezes out of the way before i go into a store because no one really wants to be in a coffee yeah. queue with someone sneezing behind them even though it's totally yeah. acceptable because it's freaking cold now yeah, but there's the social yeah. etiquette of like people going, well, you, maybe you should go home and uh, isolate for 10 days. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I think I'm just cold. I, I don't. I'll take, I'll take um, a PLCB test now. Of, yeah. yeah, and the mask kind of makes it worse because it just tickles the, the crap out of my nose. Mm-hmm. Are you still wearing masks out there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you, uh, my friend went for a, because it's still like uh, in stores, in malls, basically indoors. I think you can go into the office now, but if you walk around, you have to wear the mask though at your desk. Oh, I think wow, you can really? take it off. But yeah, my we, friend we, went we back home relaxed. through UK and said he got on, on a tube, on a, on a metro, and mm-hmm. it was just that, that usual London crammed and no mm-hmm. one throwing a mask. And he mm-hmm. not freaked out, but he was uncomfortable because it was mm-hmm. such a, a jump for him going from yeah. wearing it to not. Um, yeah, it's exactly that. Same here in Birmingham but you get a few people that wear them and most people don't wear them and then they complain about the fact they're all being rammed in with each other on trains and stuff you know like, well, yeah are you doing everything you can do personally yeah yeah, yeah. exactly uh, talking but, yeah. of colds and viruses mm. uh, that mm. doesn't all segue us at, at all to uh midnight mass yeah. episode five six six six, six. six. act acts of the apostles mm. So, which I which I assume alludes to the people that follow apostles, the people that follow, mm-hmm. yeah, John yeah, Peter okay, Paul, so. etc. Yeah. Um, last episode, I tried to make a point, and mm. I totally fluffed it. I think it's going to get cut because I stopped halfway through and forgot the point I was making. Right, blah blah blah, and jittered to finish it, and then forgot why I was making that point. Mm-hmm. So even this we can cut because if we're going to cut that, then this makes no no link reference. Yeah, <laughs> so. I think I've been struggling-ish with this show because of my expectations. 
I have been mm. in a bit of a funky mood in the last in the last few months, yeah. which hasn't helped. And it's no. quite a slow think piece show. Yes, I, I, and I'll get on to why I think actually it's not a binge worthy show mm. in response to our question last week. But I think I started the show with expectations and the, the, not that the show is far off from that, but I feel like Mike Flanagan is trying to do something different, mm -hmm. but with the same ingredients, the, the same cooking pot, mm -hmm. different, different cake and yeah drop that metaphor and instead of you. getting on board with that i was just resisting it waiting yes. for it to become the thing that i wanted yes it to be, or i thought and it was that's going to exactly be. my point as i was going to make today <laughs> that's kind of what i was trying to say last week but i mm -hmm. sort of fluffed it about if i have time i kind of want to binge now not binge but watch the whole show because we've got one episode left mm. after this i want to see if i've got time to watch the season as a big movie because mm -hmm. I feel like I'm I don't know I just wasn't on board with it mm -hmm. and instead of just getting with emotion mm -hmm. sort of I don't know, I, I keep coming up with metaphors <laughs> like taking yeah, 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 rather yeah. than getting with emotion but I feel like I'm slowly getting there like yeah. this show was a this this is a great episode I do feel like See, a bit more of I, this throughout the show would have spiced this, it this up. was my no so this is my point that, that i was thinking the fact that you text me and said now this is where you 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 send the face drop emoji or mm. the open mouth oh my god wow emoji see i was less inclined to send it because this is what i knew i knew this was coming mm. this big brr moment that we find that had this whole episode wasn't a surprise to me everything mm. else before this was a surprise the slow build, the, the 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 dwelling on religion and the, the delving deep into the absurdity of it all and how the words can be twisted and how you can take things and make shape them to fit your narrative. The, all of that sort of stuff was not what I expected from this show. Mm. It was a lot more think PC, like you said. Mm. And that is what I enjoyed more than it's a vampire show there's going to be lots of vampiric action mm -hmm. or vampiric stuff. And it was more musings about religion under the guise of a vampire show. Now it's, now it's doing what you expect of, I expected it to do from the beginning. Mm. So I was less like, Oh my God, this is, it was still really foreboding and very well done because it's all built to this, but mm. I felt you needed those first five episodes to enable this to be a juxtaposition to mm. what we've had previously okay i mean i kind of have some thoughts on this and i do want to bring up riley again yeah but, uh, we could do that as it comes but i guess because now with this ending i feel like the the consequences have to be picked up immediately whereas mm. with a lot of the last episodes there was this sort of bang ending and the next episode didn't really pick up those consequences so much no. um so I, I i still would have liked not a this episode's level of events and action, mm -hmm. but but something a bit more sprinkled over the past few. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think I said already, like I do think this would make a great stage play. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it. yeah. I'd love to see this live. Like just a lot of performances, and I guess just the the minimalization of, of set mm -hmm. pieces and just mm -hmm. pure conversation with condensed would be great to see. Um, there are still a lot of conversation pieces in this as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you felt about. The way it opened with, because it literally continues from the end of the last episode with, what's her name? Erin sat on the boat mm. just with Covered in dust. Riley's remains in front of her, like the dust and the ashes. And then she rows into shore and she instantly, the first place she goes to is the dock, which I thought was really good. So she starts to build, yeah, she starts to build a little gang of people, which is mm. what I sort of alluded to in the last episode. So it's going to fracture the island you're going to have a group of good and a group of bad that what happened and, and ended up being there's like the whole fucking island became mm. bad. and there's like a handful of people i didn't expect that 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 level of belief in people to just do the, the absurdity of what they were doing it was incredible mm. but i guess but that I works thought, in favor of what you were saying about the slow build of the past five episodes mm -hmm. did, did exactly. build to that that belief yeah. they've seen um the old Alzheimer's lady get younger than her daughter. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. The, the, the girl in the chair get up and walk again. 
yeah. everyone's just feeling all oh, everyone's arthritis has gone away because everyone's been mm-hmm. feeling I guess they explained ish mm-hmm. why not everyone is a vampire but has the vampire traits mm-hmm. the positive traits I didn't quite mm-hmm. get that I'm not gonna lie is it mm-hmm. like they're kind of zombies now more so no it's, it's you just have to die got... yes you have to die and be risen Yes, you have to die and be, and, and then because and the blood is in you, because mm. the blood is in you, then you'll, that will resurrect you and you'll come back. So the first part of it is drinking the blood. Mm-hmm. And then you have to die, then you'll come back, and then you have to continue to drink the blood, but you can't go out in the sunlight because your blood is dead and you're now feeding off of this completely mm. hosted parasitic blood. It doesn't seem like there's a sort of kill the head vampire, kill everyone at this stage. No, at least. Like definitely not. One of them could just become their own cult. They could go away, drink, get someone to drink their blood. I guess lucky. Yeah, although it hasn't alluded to that, I, I would say that's probably possible. I don't know for sure though. But yeah, I did like the fact that she went to the to the the dock, and then the mother came out, and, the, mm. and then you had this big long monologue, or not monologue, but chat between her and the dock. And I was sat there thinking, Scott's probably going to be really driving him mad at this point but um i quite i guess i like that. the doctor's yeah. anecdote everyone's got an anecdote everyone's mm-hmm. got a story <laughs> yeah and yeah it was a good story and the fact that she showed her her blood going up in flames in the sunlight mm. again that tied back to something that happened on the episode baby, three i think unexplained. That never went anywhere that mm. actually did go somewhere the same with the drug dealer going missing cook a couple of episodes but then it came back mm. so the things that have been left hanging the threads that have been left hanging have come back and been kind of tied up and resolved and i thought that was really good who killed that dog and apart There's from doctor, who killed the dog There's i really doctor. want to know who killed the dog <laughs> it's going to be interesting if they are so i'll be, I'll be bitterly disappointed if they don't i think so with what's you... left to cover the dog the last i thought this lot yeah. before with this episode that is unlikely the mm. dog's going to take importance and now i think even less so. <laughs> yeah I, you're probably right <laughs> a bev in this episode, it's just mm. she's straight up evil. She took the mantle. I she guess we've did, seen it. She... It's slowly been coming. She's yeah, slowly see... intensified that that look in her eye and mm-hmm. that judgment on on anyone else. Yeah, she's become more and more steely in her, her mm. beliefs. If like... this was a Stephen King movie, you'd hate her. Yeah, yeah. It, it would have started off like this. But she would have started off at this level. Yeah, that's exactly it. She's been, <laughs> what um, Flanagan's done is he's been less heavy-handed with her character, I think. Mm. And that has enabled me to not warm to her, but not hate her as much as I would normally this type of character. Because mm. at one point I thought she was going to switch. I thought she yeah. was going to be like, this isn't God, and, and in the yeah. name of God. So did I. Oh, yeah, nah. I completely agree. But he's no. called that one. Definitely. Do you think Pruitt's now he's been shot on the head and left in the state he's in do you think he's <laughs> kind of had a revelation and he's like oh this this isn't right well I, d- I, d- I don't know if it's the bullet to the head but i think it's the the savagery of everybody yeah, I'm watching his, mm-hmm. his town that i keep forgetting he grew up with all these people they aren't mm. strangers to him I, in, a part of me keeps forgetting that he's just new like he's mm. a new priest trying to convert and bring something new he's like, oh no he knew all these people. Like that's what I was saying. Yeah, I think last exactly week, like they is. didn't quite get into the fact that he's known these people all his life. In my opinion, mm-hmm. like when he said to Riley, "I've known you all your life," it was like mm. that was a reminder. But mm. I, that sort of also reminds me that it's not just Riley; it's the entire town. These are his people, mm-hmm. and he's just watched. I don't know, seventy percent turn into sort of uncontrollable vampire thingies. Yeah. I guess he thinks angels and the only god, yeah. but turn that bloodlust on to the innocent. Mm. Which wasn't really his plan. No. And I'm not sure no. what his plan was, actually. Now no, that I come to I think about know. it, how was he yeah. going to physically restrain everyone? Well, this is it. Wasn't there? There was there was a, a leave the doors open, or was it yeah, it was he was supposed to leave the doors open to let the people that didn't want to turn mm. leave, but then they shut the doors, didn't they? When when the gun came out, right? When I think yeah. after the priest got shot, after mm. Pruitt got shot. Yeah, Bev um, orders the doors to be shut, which mm. traps everybody inside, which turns everybody into mm. basically fo- food for those that reawaken. I guess they're they're all right around people when they're not close enough. It's only when they sort of get mm-hmm. close to the blood. It's it's yeah. the addiction, the magnet. The so I, addiction yeah, I, I think you're completely right in the sense that fucked up, is, son. 
Yeah, he's he messed it. He got it. It went all wrong, and he's mm. come, coming to realize that this never was his intention. Mm. Um, Which is a good because I think that's the look. We might be wrong, mm-hmm. but if it is right, yeah. he did a good. I've been shot on the head, so I'm, I don't know, brain damage, concussed, dying, the living mm. dead, and I'm showing great regret with with a very gentle nod. Good yeah. getting across what yeah, we think yeah. we got across. Good to. <laughs> Then I've got, the, again, harking back to stuff that's gone before, answering why the baby disappeared, although we'd pretty much worked it out. Mm-hmm. It was quite yeah. simple to work out. That was Part of me kind of hoped it was like the mirror thing. It's like she was just going to give birth. I'm like, but there's no signs. But I yeah. guess she, the other doctor said, like, it's, it's it wasn't like she was still swollen bellied. No. Thought, uh, there was a little part of me at one point that thought that could be kind of be cool. Like, the baby's mm-hmm. still there. We just can't see it. But no, no yeah. the body just saw it as a parasite. And dis- destroyed it. And that's and what then, you said last week, how a woman scorned. I think she was one. Mm-hmm. Did she pull out the gun? Yeah. Well, she picked uh, up the gun. She was the one. She picked up the gun, yeah. Yeah. She was the one that shot Bev. And then, yeah, so, so she, she, she starts to build her army, like I said. And there was something that I pulled, pulled up. And then uh, I liked the fact that Riley left all the notes. And then the father's reaction, again, shows really, uh, you know, although it didn't need hammering home, it's still was another ref- reaffirming of how much the priest on the island is revered because mm. he took his wife's letter before she'd even re- read it, took his son's letter, took Pruitt's letter and took them all to the priest because that's the only, he sees that as the, you know, the, the, the North Star, the, mm. the centre of all moral compass. Mm, he didn't even take him to the doctor. Mm. He was just like, like these, my are, these letters, my, my son is losing it. He's talking about all these things. Can you help? You're in these. <laughs> Do you think it was the letter that saved the dad? Because when it all kicked off, the dad was aghast and sort of slipped out the back door? No, the dad's dead. Yeah, he got taken down. He, he, everybody else got out the back door because he helped them get out, but he got swallowed by them. Oh, I don't so know, his I don't wife went that. out the back door. Oh, okay, Yeah. Do you, do you think that was purely Riley's letter? Like, if Riley hadn't mm-hmm. put that letter in, he would have yep. drunk drunk the, the Kool Aid. There, there's a good chance, yeah. Mm. I think the fact that, um, well, I don't know. That's a good question, actually. Because the Cause whole it might family. Just been the moral. I feel like this show got a little bit black and white in this episode to yeah. an extent. You know what I mean? Like all the people who were drinking it suddenly felt desperate. Mm. I, I don't. And all the people I, I, who didn't were so purely good. It, it became a bit good and bad rather than being misled in a, in a, a bit of a way, do you think? Or no? Maybe, maybe. I mean, it is interesting that the whole of Riley's family didn't want to drink it. Mm. Like the father wasn't interested in drinking it. The mother wasn't interested in drinking it. The mm-hmm. son, the, the, the thing he want, didn't want to drink it. Yeah, everybody around him did. That was interesting. I think it was just lucky that they were Riley's parents because it's like Riley survived through his family possibly um i don't uh, yeah i can't put my finger on why that family alone maybe it's through the hardship that they experienced through riley mm. um, this and right. his journey that made them see so i guess that there, isn't right. there was a handful of people who were with them who didn't didn't want to take it but mm-hmm. we haven't yeah. got to know them this was just no in the in the i don't know 20 percent of people who didn't take it there was yeah. this family we recognized but there was actually a bunch of others but it was just i think i see that guy before but this also might mm-hmm. be his first appearance. But yeah, so yeah, you had, you had was, there was, like, the people that did survive were key, apart from the sun, key facets of the oh, show. Yeah, the sun, sun drunk it up, huh? No, not, no, I'm not talking about the sheriff's one. I'm talking about oh. Riley, Riley's brother. Oh, okay. Riley's brother was there. Then mm. you had the girl that got the, with the ability to walk back. Mm-hmm. She didn't want to take it. And then Riley's mum, Erin, the doc... And that was it, I think. Those are the sole survivors that got away. Can I talk about Riley now? Mm. You dick, Riley. You flipping dick. He Why? Would, he would have been handy in this little situation we were in. But no, he died to warn her. And that warning did fuck all. Because she walked into the lines there knowing what kind of what was going to turn well, out. Well, to be fair, she and tried I, to get out. Couldn't she they have turned the lights out. off and hidden the kitchen, hidden the cupboard? She chose to go in. She mm. chose to fight back. She, But he really gave her the, uh, you know, the knowledge to warn those that she felt would take the heed the advice and leave. 
and, mm. and in the end it was just the three of them although she did try to take Riley's family with her but the apostles put mm. a stop to any I don't know I feel like they didn't come up with a good enough plan to warrant Riley's 24 hour heads up death mm. no <laughs> but he would have been really handy in that room as someone who sort of has the second most experience being the vampire guy and can just help mm. pull them out of the room a bit or try and I don't know, pin them back. I don't know if it's applied they have extra strength or not really. Right? No, just, there's, just no there's nothing to say. They're still a young, healthy case. man that, yeah. you know, could have taken a bullet and kept on ticking, as it were. But it wasn't, um, don't you feel like the pull, like the, the pull to drink the blood and everything like that would have been too, the pull of the dark side would have been too prevalent for, for him to resist it. So therefore he knew the only way to escape was to isolate himself on a boat and I mean, coming the sunshine there? to the face. But the fact that he got on the boat with Aaron without, because he had eaten, like once you've fed, you're sort of all right for a while, right? Because mm -hmm. he drank in the it. episode that's before exactly he drank it. The thing. He experienced the power of mm. that lust to eat, mm. that, that need to eat, that it scared him. Mm. And, guess... and if you tie it into the whole, you know, forgiveness and the ease of forgiveness mm. um, for what he did that he felt he should never be. Oh, forgiven. for sure. I, I just think logistically could have got them off island first and died from the other side. Mm. Hey, mom, we won the lottery. You're just going to stand at the five Hiltons in the mainland. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess he didn't quite <laughs> yeah, know, know that the next right, day was like going to be the kickoff, but no. it's, um, I still am watching. In yeah, it is, it is a big move. It is I'm, a I'm still watching move, The Walking enough. Dead and uh, oh, certain yeah. search and sit Okay, not anymore, but for about five seasons, certain situations I'd be like, ah, you know, if Shane was alive, He'd have he'd have cleaned this up. I think Shane would have taken out the governor back and back on season three. Shane, yeah. do you know what I mean? And yeah, I guess yeah, that's yeah. a little where I am with Riley. Like, ah, I, I know it's just the path it had to take. And maybe you're right that that warning. It's like we, we read a lot of Stephen King's, and I feel like a, at the the end of them, a lot of I don't know, like godly interference and like you know the stand and the example of this. When it comes down to what it means, sometimes it's very cause and effect. Like. So am I right that this came down to them having to be in this exact position? Mm. This is a very precise moment where like this, this guy had to come in with a bomb and this, this other guy had to upset this other guy. And like, because yeah. they didn't do much apart, apart from that physical involvement, if that makes sense. I don't think that mm -hmm. wording makes sense. No, no uh, there's nothing would have got me into that church if I was Aaron though. Don't really? know why. Yeah. She just saw her like long lost love burst into flames on a rowboat mm -hmm. and then have to row back in a little chilly. That's a lot to go through. But like I said, a woman, she's lost everything. She's got mm -hmm. nothing left at all of any kind whatsoever. In... Cause they tried to get off the Island, right? It was, they were just blocked. Mm -hmm. Cause but she was always going to stay. I think. I guess so. But I, I don't think her plan was to assassinate anyone. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. It's just where the yeah. show goes. Yeah. I, at this point in the show, this is before it's all kicked off and mm -hmm. they've just, Found the boat. And I think the letters, the father gave the letters to Pruitt. Pruitt reads his letter and it says, we all, was it, we all start to dust and we all return to dust. Mm. It's kind of like, it like a threat from Riley. So I thought Riley'd set a trap. Oh, okay. I was 100% wrong in that. I, I thought that was just his beliefs because we already mm. talked about, they had that conversation about what do you think happens when we die? Yeah. I thought it was. So just, yeah, I was, I was, I was pleasant. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a trap, but it wasn't. Mm. And then we've got uh, the, the conversation between Erin and the mother on the doorstep, mm. and her reaction to her, her telling her, her son's dead. And I think she kind of knew, but she didn't want to accept it. Mm. I mean, it was an odd one. Mm. I don't know how I would have taken that. Like, ah, where, no. Where's the body? Yeah. It's going to take me to the police, take me to the hospital now. Yeah, why um, are you standing on my doorstep telling me? <laughs> um, I've never really had to deal with someone dying in that sense where, I, like, someone was telling me, and I, I wouldn't say I want to see the report or I want to speak to the police, but someone somewhere has to be told by someone official, right? I guess is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think, I don't know. Like I said, I've never dealt with it. But in this case, for example, it would be, oh my God, take me to the body. Mm -hmm. let, let, Tell everyone and the happen? town. What do you mean? Like, yeah, that sort of like they're very yeah. religious. Like, let's go to church and get the priest involved. Yeah. Uh, but I guess, <laughs> I guess to be fair, she was blocked instantly. Yeah, yeah. Then we got obviously the the the, the, the doc goes and sees the sheriff, and they mm. have a, a bit which I quite liked. Again, it was another two. -on -two Why am I chat. here? Mm. Yeah, but I thought it was very good. I, I liked the whole nine eleven speech. 
Mm -hmm. um, just what, that just was a really interesting be. perspective yeah. on how governments have reacted to that and you know i can't imagine it was all fictitious what he said in that statement it's probably mm. a lot of it it's very true well i mean we know like, the, the types of profiling people pulled off flights a hundred percent because of like profiling mm -hmm. texting but like, it's oh, that fact i saw that, i saw that, that guy with a beard texting it's like yeah it was, yeah it was texting you know yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that they suddenly thought what they thought they were doing was a good thing actually mm. panicked them and well they're sort of trying to use him as an in right he's the enemy but let's get him in so we can think like us, enemy or something. Him, yeah um, i guess i like so how all that, oh, that whole that whole speech mm. was really good the, um, he's fucking fed up that that sheriff huh yeah like yeah, you, you missed my son's everything. my son's belief is the, the, mm -hmm. the important thing huh? yeah that that whole what unfolded there was was probably the most harrowing part of the whole thing i thought mm. I, I don't want to keep but, repeating myself but this, this stuff like this where i'm like a little bit more time in the previous episodes showing more of the town's people and getting to know them a bit more would, would just not not helped but just mm -hmm. just help make it more even more meaningful and drilled in like mm -hmm. we, how much time have we had to riley and, and, and that's fine but it's like remember the first episode and we got to know the sheriff's son and his brother mm -hmm. it's like we, we've never had that much screen time with them really it, it no no, and now here they are them. in the center but they've had moments that it, they, i feel yeah. like we've been reminded they're in the show without yeah. having them in the show even uh, yeah that, yeah they haven't right, been the front sum... and center we haven't been able to go um warm to them strongly as characters but we've had enough information for to care. the moments that we've just witnessed mm. to resonate because mm. I, I, I guess we did get the son and the dad talking about what the religion yep. means but I thought like that's seen them a, praying together a very equally sort of... interesting thing that could have been given more time to sort of breathe a bit mm -hmm. and... we'll break down a bit. But then again, you, like you already had your issues with the amount of time that they've spent talking and mm. chatting. So if you add more of that, not necessarily, but more exploration of character mm. and judging by what we've witnessed, the exploration of character involves. But I'll be moving talking. anyway. Yeah, can't win. Yeah, exactly. Um, so then, then we had, I thought, the build-up to the Easter Vigil and the whole apostles going around doing their work across the island, like shutting down all the towers, removing the engines from all the boats, mm. sending the ferries off to be fixed. And really Shutting the island down. Mm. Does that feel to you like... It's really good. Monsignor Pruitt's doing, or Bev's doing, or both? Bev's doing, Bev's doing, 100% Bev's doing. Do you think that Pruitt knew that was going on? Mm, uh, yes. But okay. I don't think he, I think Bev orchestrated it and came up with the plans. Mm. I think Pruitt was very much, we'll just hold a vigil and anybody can come and. Well, if I'll, anyone doesn't I'll come, present or wants my, to leave, my they case, can. leave the doors open so that they can leave if they want to mm. leave. But everybody else, you know, I've spent enough time on this island now preaching my words that I mm. believe most of the island will come over to my side and join the God Angel and all that sort of thing. Will it be the good ones? It's like mm. I'm having a party and like, oh, just the dogs turned up. <laughs> um, but I thought that that whole bit, that whole episode with this slow build towards this vigil, Easter vigil, and mm. the constant, was it um, Sturge going, make sure you're at the vigil to everybody. And mm -hmm. that was really good. Vigil! <laughs> vigil. vigil! Make sure you come to the Easter vigil. Midnight mass. Yeah. Um, again, the lights and the, the power going off on the island is all feeds into that. P pushed great. it into cult ground, sir. Yeah. The chat between the sheriff and his son about the witnessing of this miracle that's supposedly going to happen and the fact that he wants to go, that he stopped praying. Mm -hmm. Again, all really strong. But the, I guess that stuff, I need to remember that kid saw his mate who was wheelchair bound get up mm -hmm. and walk. Mm -hmm. and that would mess you up impactfully mm -hmm. as a kid. Like it, it potentially would work. Yeah. 100%. It's yeah, enough to sway anybody, isn't it, really? Mm. Well, an island, island's worth of people. I, I, I only, like Sturge, we don't, this is, this taps into what you're saying. We don't know enough about Sturge. Okay, this is going to prove your point. Remind me who Sturge is? He's the bearded guy. The first oh, yes, 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 the, yes. Take the poison. Basically, the henchman. Henchman, yeah. Basically, we okay. don't know enough about him, and I don't understand why he is going around committing all of these apostle acts mm. of free will. Uh, is he just not on the inner circle? 
Yeah, well, yeah, he is. And and so he feels higher up than everyone. And Mm. he feels more in control. And he feels like he's sort of lieutenanting or he's he's one of the generals rather than one of the sheep. As it, as it I were. guess yeah, that's exactly it. Because you've got you've got him, the the two parents of the girl that was in the wheelchair. Mm. They and Bev are the four apostles in essence, mm-hmm. and they they just so wholeheartedly believe in their religious stance and what is happening around them is the right path that they're just blinded to stop everybody leaving the island. Mm. Let's turn off all the power. Let's make sure everybody turns up to this vigil. Let's lock the doors. Like they're bringing the sinister side to it. If yes, it exactly. doesn't sound too ludicrous. Yeah. And I guess that's it- where this, this show has been very good at sort of just making good and bad complicated. Mm. Not, not to keep going back to King, but he gets a lot of shtick for like complicated evil, simplified good. And so this one, this show, I think when we back when we started it, you were saying it felt very nodding towards. I mean, because we've been reading Sames on the background, and just yeah. at least initially, it felt it started very like nodding mm-hmm. to King and his, his works. The fact that we have and we feel this way about Sturge, could you have just, I don't know, made everyone this wishing of black and white? Like it would, mm-hmm. like you're saying. What's his motivation? Who is he? Why is he so gung ho to do that? Mm-hmm. It would have been nice to just have a little to explain that, or, or to to put us with a question mark over his head. Yeah. I think he thinks he's doing good. Yeah, like we felt with Bev and Pruitt for most of the show. Yes, exactly that. This Sturge it hasn't just felt like that, that with this Sturge guy. No, he just turns up and says yes, basically. He literally rocked up, saw a dead body, got got like Bible slapped by Bev, and has heaven mm-hmm. ever since been. Pulling, towing the, towing the line. Mm, odd jobbing it, as it were. Yeah. Metaphorically yeah, and literally. Um, and then and then we moved from that. We went, We had the, the really beautifully shot, candlelit, sing-song walk mm. to the church. I thought that was really well done. And then we move into the vigil or the Easter Midnight Mass, which is what the title show's all been leading to and about. And Monty Pruitt gives this speech about what is about to unfold. He reveals that he is the original Monsieur Pruitt and that he believes that most people have already worked that out, but they refuse to accept Mm -hmm. what is right in front of them. Just that that niggling feeling you've got at the back of your mind, Mm -hmm. listen to Mm -hmm. it and know that part of you has always known. Yeah, Um, but the fact that they have accepted it and just glossed over it means that they are ready to take the next step and then taking the poison, they all drink this poison in it. Yeah, I guess that poison came back into it. That I guess I feel like that's why the dog died. Yeah, it had nothing to really to do. I mean, partly it was it was entangled, but part of it was to to Chekhov's gun. Us mm. knew there was a large amount of rat poison enough mm-hmm. for a whole island, and it showed and... the speed at which it. it, it mm-hmm. You drink it, you die. Yeah, there's no messing. You don't get sick. Yeah, it's a good little mm. bit of sort of. Sh- Sly foreshadowing, I guess. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was yeah that whole sequence. What did you think of that? Did you see it going? I, d- I didn't know. I, when did I, you I guess, clock on? Well, what as soon as I saw all the cups, yes. But go, mm. going into the, like, the episode before, I think my predictions weren't. I guess we were a little unsure of what this vampiring process is. We were like, do you have mm-hmm. to drink from the main guy because they've all been drinking it? Does that mean? Mm-hmm. Like, even now, I have not questions that matter, but I'm. I guess the doc because the doctor did uh, did a bit of an I am legend and sort of let's go into the science of what this is. Yes, yeah, yeah. Exposition. And so there was like uh, I I can't remember, but I and I don't know what is remotely true in this, but like there's certain hemoglobin issues. Yes, it could be yep, this. Yep. There the thin blood cells. Blah 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 blah. I don't know if she implied if they get off the island and stop drinking the blood, they'll be all right. Yeah, slowly dissipate. Yes. Oh, okay, that's good. I, I think I picked up on that, but I was like, yeah. okay, so if if they just get off the island and get in the car crash, it's like, ah, oh, crap. It's not, it's not like The Walking Dead where it's, it's not like zombies where like mm. it's in them forever. Uh, no, as as soon as I saw all those so. cups, I, I knew that. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah. We're going, um, uh, what's it called? Not Waco. Uh, yeah, Waco. Um, yeah, Waco. Yeah, Waco. Sianagul. Uh, the one where they, they all took poison when the meteorite went over the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not Waco, but it's one no, of those. I forget what it is. Yeah. I guess I didn't. I was like, is he going to do it telling them it is the wine 
Or is he yes. going to do it? Is he going to trick them into doing it? Or is he going to welcome them to doing that? And it wasn't long mm-hmm. for it to find out. But no. I guess that's the stuff that made me lean forward. You know, mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, it's who's willing and who's not and does it matter now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought that was really good. It, uh, it, it, again, it, it's everything that we've watched in the last five episodes mm-hmm. about the willingness to give yourself over to, to absurdity of religion and... Mm and how easily it can be spun to fit a narrative and all of those sorts of things. It's, it's just glorious. And mm. then it comes to this moment where a, a room full of a hundred people are, who have been listening to this garbage for God knows how long are then told, kill yourselves and you'll come back to life. Mm. Here's an example of what that are happening. And then they watch this person poison himself. It's brutal as well. His guts up. And then he comes back to life, and they're like, "Oh my god, it's true!" But hey, do that eternal life. Fucking hell! Like, what the hell? But it's interesting the fact that there's a load of people that still just chose not to do it. Mm-hmm. But is is that what the show has been about? Is the like it's slowly been giving us reason to believe if mm-hmm. if we put ourselves in the shoes of of the members, mm-hmm. and you're already religious, it's not like you know with the, the the first set of this. So now there's a guy called God. You're like, how are we talking about? Like they've already believed in God. Yeah. And now this, these events have happened. It's plausible you get on board. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, 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 they were seeing miracles, right? Although that wasn't that wasn't so. Yeah, they were feeling better, but it wasn't only up until this episode. No, it hadn't been addressed in any way. But I mean, the, I the girl in the wheelchair, the old lady, now is younger than her daughter. Mm-hmm. Like a bunch of stuff. No, I, I, I don't know. No, I don't feel like on mass it was it was being you know I, I don't think every it wasn't as clear as day that everybody was under the effect of this. It was only certain people were experiencing a miracle, but everybody was there to witness. Not everybody was experiencing a miracle. Oh no, but but in witnessing the miracle though, yeah, it's yeah, right, what is what I mean. It's enough to get yeah. your belief up, right? Like right, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I suddenly saw somebody that wasn't, if I was at an evangelical church going along with a religious girlfriend mm. and I was in no way religious, but I went to this church and saw somebody that clearly was unable to walk and had been unable to walk. And then they were suddenly walking mm. that would shake the foundations of my beliefs or what mm. I call my beliefs. I would, have whether st- it would shake them enough to take poison or not. It's a different thing. No, I would have stood up and said, I knew you were faking and stormed out. Um, <laughs> I, I guess that's the thing. It's not that it was taking poison, right? It was that was the not the trick of it, but it's like it's not. Yeah. That's not the point of this. Is that you're poisoning? It's that you're going into eternal life. It's like mm-hmm. this is the gates of heaven. Yes, um, yes. This is the final step. Mm-hmm. The final test. Guess um, they passed. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah, if God's up there just... going. Ah, you know that was a hell of a good trickery. Mm. I'm going to give you a pass for that, even though you, you, it wasn't me. The savagery of that at all afterwards, though, was... Yeah, we got like to see the, the vampire they... guy clear up and close mm-hmm. in broad daylight, mm-hmm. wearing robes. <laughs> that yeah. was ridiculous, but kind of funny. And I guess it's just wings. equally terrifying. Oh. Yeah. Um, and then the, he takes the mother, which I was a bit gutted about because I really liked her. I guess I thought her and Pru- her, she was going to bring Pruitt back. And I still think yeah. she might. I think maybe she'll come back covered in blood, having been drunken but mm-hmm. not dead. Because he can't even kill her anyway, right? Because, I mean... If he kills her, she just becomes vampire. Vampire and comes back to life. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's I, I guess they can make the rules up because he's head vampire guy. But I, yeah. I, I get the feeling like the next episode will start with like an empty church and she'll mm. come in covered in blood and, and Pruitt would have just been, I think Pruitt's kind of been ditched. I'm not sure mm. if, if yeah, Bev's yeah. I think taking Bev's control. Just, yeah, assume mantle, please. Mm. I did like the fact that Erin just, shut her up mm. and just just offloaded it like, like blah 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 shut up bang yeah dead you kill that me you only buy brilliant. five minutes mm-hmm. or five minutes <laughs> yeah i thought that was absolutely glorious mm. love moments like that where people just who deserve it just get it and they don't get given the time to give their big speech and all this mm-hmm. sort of thing it's just shut up and i thought that was great and then uh, i think that's everything i have about this episode yeah that's all i've written down that's where it ends with them running from the Mm. church into the night so all in all a great episode really really good did exactly what i thought it was going to do 
in the sense that it was split the island, turned m- masses of them into vampires, mm, and gave I, us a handful of to root for. It's a small band of survivors, huh? It's a much smaller band of survivors than I envisioned it being when I first started this. But it wasn't, it didn't do what the other episodes had done for me, which was give me lots to think about, give me lots to chew over and nod to and agree with. That, what you just said, mm -hmm. to to flow back to something in last week's about what makes something binge-worthy and not, is why I think this show shouldn't necessarily be binged. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, I guess I was, you know, right, like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, over you want to that. mull over what's happened, arguably. Mm-hmm. There. There's a lot of deep conversations. And I guess, yeah, it, the, I don't know if the show asks you where you would be or what, here's two opposing beliefs. And not being particularly yeah. religious, it, it sort of thought it's, it's kind of obvious. I guess I'd like to speak to someone who's very religious, yeah. who has seen the show yeah. <laughs> and see what yeah. they make of it. But, but the, the thing is, for me, they probably wouldn't. Right, maybe I'm speaking out of turn here, but the likelihood of somebody who is as religious as the people on the island are when we first meet them mm. are less likely to watch this type of show. Probably find it offensive. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Do you think we'll get to know anything about that vampire? I feel like we've kind of run out of time to, to find out Oof. any vampire backstory. Yeah, well, this is going to be my next one. Where do you think it's going to go? Um, I don't know. I don't know. He, well, he hasn't said anything. He's just floated around the island a bit and then turned up and flapped his wings. Yeah, killed a bunch of cats. Um, we know we yeah, think of cat a killers cats. on this podcast. <laughs> so I, 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 yeah, I, said, uh, I don't know where, what they're going to do with him, um, if he's going to get any more. Don't so, need, need, really, it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. No, you but I, I guess out, hmm, depending on what you think matters in this world, it's like... Do you just want them to survive and run away, or do you want them to? Is this the birth of ultimate evil taking over the world? Mm-hmm. And so, no, do you I, want, I them want them to win. survive and run away, mm. or do you want them to stay and stop this monstrosity? The latter. I want. Which means I, they have to this take is what out I think will everyone. happen is that they will in they'll somehow trap everybody and burn them to the ground. I think Pruitt's going to be up and talking. Mm-hmm. I think he's like, I think things are going to settle down a bit with, with the small townsfolk in hiding. Mm-hmm. And I think people are like, yo, we still, because they're still religious. It's not like we've made it. It's like back to mass. And I think that Pruitt is going to lock them in and burn them all with him yes. inside. Yeah. Um, I think that's his, I don't know, that's where I'm going to stand. But I guess there's so many characters. It's like Game of Thrones. It's like, yeah, this dumb nuts plans are going to, interfere with his plans, his plans. Yeah. like he might be dead before like that might be his initial plan but someone else mm-hmm. like bev bev might flat out fill or, him with poison or, and bury him alive or something or it know. might be that there are good people accidentally scupper pruitt's plan so pruitt's plans is the ultimate good mm. and the people that are trying to do well end mm. up stopping it and letting everybody yeah something along those lines might happen mm. which would be a bit frustrating but rather apt I'm it's thinking, going to be very interesting to see where it goes. I'm thinking Erin might die, you know? Do you? Well, I'm thinking we're going to see to her for. with, like, a baby. We're going to, like, like Riley, when we saw oh. her, when we saw him on the boat, but yeah. smiling at his... his yeah. I think we're going to see Erin with her, with her grandpa. I remember she said, like, yeah. I think I'll be yeah. holding a baby and she's going to look up a grandpa, I think. Yeah. And I think the same yeah, thing with agree. Riley. Like, it will cut to her burning horrifically, mm-hmm. alive not even a vampire, but she'll be at peace with Riley yeah. and the little baby. Yeah, that's a, that's a good shout. Um, I, can, I can see that happening in some way. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there we go. What do you think? Can Have you been listening and watching with us, or did you watch it ages ago and you're just sort of at work trying to find something mm-hmm. interesting to listen to? <laughs> uh, can you remember what you thought of the Benham episode of yeah. where you thought it was going to go at this stage? Let us know. Yeah, like and subscribe and all the all that jazz again. <laughs> um, go drop those in because it helps. Um, apparently, it helps algorithms and all that sort of thing. I did. There is a perfect point to stop the video and say like and subscribe. It's like a minute in, thirty seconds in. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but you know what? Let's not pander. No, let's not pander to YouTube and the algorithms. We're not doing this. No for, algorithms. Well, we, we, we <laughs> I don't know algorithms. who we did it for. <laughs> yeah. We're doing it for you, doing listener. It for us. Yeah, and for the oh, and for us, yeah, yeah mostly we're for doing us. it. That's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. We keep doing it. <laughs>
Hey, we're going to wrap it up around there. I want to thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed. Join us again next episode and until then, have a great day. <laughs>